starting lineup for Chicago. Pass to Jordan. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Here's Hanna de Kumpo. Outside Holiday. Now here's Lopez. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. Here's Armstrong. Pass to Jordan. Here's Yao. Covered by Lopez. Shoots a fadeaway. Second chance shot. And it's good on the layup. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. A shot from the high post. And no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Steps back. Pass to Yao. Fires from deep. Armstrong, no good. And here are the Bucks now. Kumpo outside. Middleton with it. Holiday from long range. Now with a rebound. Jordan against Honor Kumpo. Here's Armstrong. Nails it from three. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip like fashion. Now here's Honor Kumpo. Pass to Middleton. Holiday from long range. Another miss by Holiday. Here's Armstrong. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Pippen. And stolen by Middleton. Takes a 13 footer. Can't get it to drop. And it's Chicago the other way. Pass to Armstrong. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Lopez. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Pippen. Oh, deflected. Jordan against Hanna Kumpo. Six to shoot. To the middle. Now Holiday. To the inside. And he can't jam it through. The Bulls on offense. Pass to Armstrong. And here's Jordan. Slam dunk by Jordan. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush down. Middleton from the outside. Rebound by the Bulls. And slam dunk by Jordan. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. DJ Armstrong. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Drew Holiday. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think, probably has added motivation for him to excel. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Chicago leading. 
from deep. Jordan drills it from deep. Jordan's got seven points in the game. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively, and they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Here's Armstrong. Pass to Pippen. Down low. Anadokounmpo with it. On the wing, Holiday puts up a three. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Here's Armstrong. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Pippen. Pass to Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Armstrong, no good. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Back to Horford. Now here's Anadokounmpo. From seven. And the layup is good off the glass. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Pass to Jordan. Here's Armstrong. Here's the three. And the three-pointer goes. He has six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Holiday. From eight feet away, here's Anadokounmpo. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Anadokounmpo's got his second bucket on the night. Here's Armstrong. He's got six. And here's Jordan. There's the drive. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, Jordan's so crafty in the pick and roll. He's unpredictable and hard to stop in these situations. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Now here's Holiday. Defense right on him. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Middleton. Screen by Out of the Kumpo. Just four to shoot. Pass to Horford. From outside the arc. Armstrong grabs the miss. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. First team foul. Over to the left wing. Back to Jordan. Over on the Kumpo. And you know, Anta DeCumpo is really a master at getting a hand up in the face of shooters. Excellent at contesting his shots and uh, really distracts guys when they get into their shooting rhythm. Three-pointer. And he can't get that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end. And it's had a ripple effect on the team. The fader. Pass to Rodman. And here's Jordan. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range. That shot, no good. Nice D from Horford. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Outside, DiVincenzo. The three is up. And it's Chicago with the board. Kennard outside. A 
11 feet out, and he hits him. And the Bulls lead by nine. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Pass to Miller. Outside, DiVincenzo looking to end the drought. And Horford gets it to go. How impressive was that from Al Horford? I mean, to concentrate after being bumped like that, very impressive stuff. Now here's Kennard. They set the pick from deep. Pocket four. Orford pulls it in. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. Yeah, They're tearing it up on the glass. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Pass to Pippen. Kennard outside. Here's Pippen. Fires the three. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. The Bucks trail. Screen by Adetokounmpo. 13 feet out. Again, Milwaukee. Since his college days, DiVincenzo's really refined his handle. That's a sweet move right there. Inside. Power down after the assist led him to the lane. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Pass to Armstrong. Let's it go from deep. Unable to get that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Horford passes to Portis. Screen by Horford. Let's it fly. Here's DiVincenzo. No good on the triple. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. To the paint. Rodman. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. And it's a seven-point Chicago lead. Rodman, a solid inside score. Picks his spots well and uses his body well, too. And the Bucs with some changes. Thompson, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Connaughton in for Horford. And the Bulls making a change here. Now here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Portis. Longley with a rebound. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. We've got 113 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Harper. Back to Kennard. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's closely guarded. Portis the screen. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Outside, DiVincenzo. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Pass to Longley. Rebound, Milwaukee. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Now DiVincenzo. Here's Portis. Trying to get back on track. And he connects with a jumper. Good find that time by DiVincenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pack. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Bulls up by five. Ladies and gentlemen, your Bucks dance team. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? 
Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. On the court for Chicago. And it's in there. Even though his game is more perimeter oriented now, Lopez can still mix it up inside. Pass to Harper. Kennard outside. To the middle. Lopez with the steal. Rubio with the ball. And Kennard picks him up defensively. Inside. Here's Lopez. The up fake from Lopez working to perfection. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the box. Rook Lopez. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And Brooke Lopez a little bigger and more of an offensive player than his brother Robin. But they've both turned into quality big men in this league. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Kennard. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Giannis Antetokounmpo talked to me about signing the extension to remain in Milwaukee. He said, my goal stays the same. Get better, day by day, step by step. As long as that's what we're all focused on, why not play for the Bucks 25 years? There is no reason for me to move. Well, he certainly found a home, Ali. Good stuff there. Outside Rubio, pass to Portis. Back to Rubio. To the inside. Portis gets the bucket. Portis has got his second bucket of the night. Rubio finding the open man. It seems that's exactly what he was built to do. It's what he's paid to do. Jordan's checked in for Chicago. All right, man. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Make some noise, man. Pass to Longley. Shoots over Lopez. Longley, that's good. And the Bulls lead by one. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Outside Rubio. Lopez, the screen on Jordan. Rubio passes to Lopez. Here's Harper. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Jordan with the bucket. All distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Here's Connaughton, defended by Kennard. Outside Rubio. On target from range. The best way to spread out this defense is for Rubio to hit a few more of these. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Jordan misses. Pass to Rubio. Back to Connaughton. Eleven feet out. Another one falls for Milwaukee. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Kennard outside from deep. That shot off. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Pass to Lopez. Over Jordan. Again, the box. Good for two. D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. And the Bulls call time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. 
And some changes here for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Connaughton, and Drew Holiday is subbed in for Rubio. Pass to Jordan. Kennard outside. Clock at six to the paint to stop the run. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Ming, boy, I tell you, this guy is so big. He's a dominant force who also has a touch that belies his size. This guy is a real force at both ends. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. Also, Shoot as two. soon as we got underway tonight, they began pounding the offensive glass for those putbacks. And he makes it first. One's no good. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Here's Middleton up and over Kennard. Kennard with the rebound. Chicago trailing here. To the right side. From deep, Jordan hits a three-pointer. Jordan's got 14 points for the game. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. Pass to Miller. Portis outside. Lopez, the screen. Here's Holiday, and it's blocked. Kennard with it. Here's Harper. There's a screen. Down low. Here's Yao. That one goes. Yao yeah, he's okay. one for two. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Chicago? Well, you have to admire their... ...in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. The other thing... ...that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A Ladies lot of points coming on the run. Dance team. All right, fans, that was your Bucks dance team. Make some Outside Holiday, pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. The three ball. Got a hand on it, and they recover it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Chicago leading. And here's Jordan. He's got 14. They set the pick. Here's Armstrong. That one no good. Good work defensively by Lopez. Now here's Middleton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Another miss by Holiday. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Armstrong with a bucket. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for his shot. A tight game here in Milwaukee. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question, way too many empty possessions for them. Pass to Middleton. Oh, they need this. Good. And Ana Kupo gets the assist. Middleton's got himself on the board with a three there. Here's Pippen. Here's Yao. Horford pulls it in. Now Ana Kupo. Now here's Middleton. Launches it. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Pass to Armstrong. Here's Pippen. Middleton covering. 
Pippen, no good. Yao. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's on Brook Lopez. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layup. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Showing more aggression here in the second quarter. He's seeking contact and working himself to the line. Middleton outside. Tipped away. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first personal Michael foul. Jordan using that first strength of foul. his to get into the defense to draw the foul the on the way up. Michael Jordan taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. And both free throws good for Jordan. Well, when you watch MJ, Michael Jordan, the championship mentality is obvious. He gives his team everything he has to win games and then some. Middleton outside. Lada Kumpo, a screen on Jordan. Oh, they get a hand on it. Just five to shoot. Here's Middleton. And that one comes up a bit short. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Pass to Jordan. Driving inside. And slam dunk by Jordan. I admire how quickly Jordan gets to the rim. I mean, excellent at slashing to the basket with a lot of force, too. On to Kumpo, the pass to Middleton. Over Jordan. Middleton, no good. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Here's Anadokounmpo. Got it. Anadokounmpo's got eight points. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach, the Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Middleton outside. Pass to Lopez. Left block shot on the way. Chicago grabs the miss. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Outside. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in 10 attempts. You know, when this shot is available, Giannis takes it, and I like how simple he keeps things in doing so. Here's Yao. Hits the jump hook. Yao makes seven points in the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. 
it tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Here's Armstrong, defended by Portis. Deflected! Middleton against Jordan. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Out of the Kupo, outside. Middleton finds Holiday. And the three off target. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Pass to Jordan. Here's Yao, defended by Portis. Fades and shoots. That one goes in. Yao Ming. And now a 10-point Bulls lead. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Middleton passes to Horford. Jordan against Middleton. Oh, the block! Just stops it cold and takes possession. Jordan goes in. And slam! Dunk by Jordan. And the high-flying antics of Jordan. Simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Holiday passes to Middleton. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Jordan. Here's Middleton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. He's been ice cold tonight. And you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contributions. Back to Jordan. Pass to Yao. Down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, I tell you what, you've got to keep Yao Ming out of the paint. Guy is just too big and too strong and has too good a touch to let him catch it that close. Holiday finds Ana de Kumpo. Portis with it. Fades. And it's Ana de Kumpo with the miss. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Here's Armstrong. Pass to Yao. Shoots over Portis. And again, Yao it's Ming. Chicago. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no hope. 